Alright, recital makeup tutorial for our younger kids. Um, before we start, you'll want to start with a clean face and then you can also put moisturizer on that just protects their skin from the washing and the makeup. Then you're going to use foundation. Make sure you're using a color that matches their skin tone, moms, not one that's yours that you just have laying around. And apply the foundation evenly over their entire face. Okay, I just finished putting the foundation all over her face. The last step we're gonna do is we're gonna blend down underneath the chin and down the neck so that there are no lines. Make sure you've gotten everything really good, including the eyelids. And that'll help that makeup stick to it when we start applying that. All right, time for eyes. First thing we're gonna do is we are going to apply a highlight shadow right underneath the brow. And don't be afraid to use a lot. Close your eyes, please. This goes underneath the eyebrow, into the corner of the eye. Then we're going to use our blue eyeshadow. And to help get creases out, I always ask, will you lift your eyebrows, please? Close your eyes and lift the eyebrow. And that kind of takes the creases out of their eyelid and makes it a little easier to apply. This you're gonna do to the entire lower part of the eyelid. And again, do not be afraid to use a lot. The reason we wear so much makeup on stage is because the lights that we use wash out the depth of the face. And so this helps their faces to still um, show up on stage and, uh, and have dimension and depth. Open, look at me. Open all the way, please. There you go. And I got a little bit down below, and that's okay. We're just gonna wipe it back a little bit. No big deal. I'm gonna use liquid eyeliner. This is the part that the kids usually hate the most. So giving them lots of frequent breaks um, helps the process become easier for them. So if their eyes start to water, don't push through, let them take a break. Um, you can do this with the child's head in your lap and do it from upside down and have them look toward the ceiling. Um, but for the purpose of this video, that doesn't work out very well. So we're gonna do it like this. All right, look up, look eyeballs up toward the, there you go, good. good. Doing okay? All right. Do you need a break? No, I'm okay. okay. All right. And if your lines are not perfectly smooth, it's okay. Because remember, this is going from a distance. I don't know if you can tell, but my line is not 
perfectly smooth and straight. It's a little jagged, but that's okay. Just go with it because from a distance, that will not make any difference at all. What we want is the goal of their eyes showing up with depth. The distance will take away any crazy lines you get. All right, close your eyes. Uh, lift your eyebrows, please. Align that top lid all the way across. Not to the side. Keep your eyes shut. No extra wings and cat eyes and things like that. Just a straight solid line across will do. And we're going to allow that to dry before she opens her eyes. Okay, while the video is off, I went ahead and did her other eye, and now her eyeliner on her top lids are dry. So we're going to do mascara. Open your eyes, but look down toward my chin so that your eyelashes are sticking out. I'm going to pull her eyebrow up. Let me get these ones in the corner. Okay. Do I look down to my chin now? Look down to my chin. chin. Look straight out at me, please. Good. And look up toward the ceiling. If the bottom lashes bother them, don't worry about it. That one is not quite as important. Okay, we have finished applying mascara to both eyes. The next step is blush. And we are using bright blush, and you're going to load that brush full. This side, and you're going to make a diagonal line across their cheekbones, blending out a little bit. We don't want them to look like they have stripes on their face, so do blend down and out a little bit. And look straight at me and smile. And we're going to get some on the apples of their cheeks. Okay, and we're going to repeat on the other side. All right, turn this way. Blend out. <clears throat> All right, smile. is lipstick. For our younger ones, they use a pink. All right. So relax your mouth. Okay. And we're going to say the word purse. Purse. And that kind of helps pout that bottom lip a little bit. Okay, blot them together. Blot them together. Good. Then we can go back through and see if we missed any spots. Now the trick to keeping it off your teeth is, Riley, I want you to put your finger in your mouth and then pull out. And that will get whatever lipstick is on the inside of her lips onto her finger and we'll keep it off her teeth. 
The last thing you're going to do is you're going to set all of this makeup with some loose powder. And if you have a daughter who is um, who is very blonde, you will also want to pencil in their eyebrows with just a light brown pencil because those will disappear on stage. And so either with an eyeshadow or a eye pencil and um, help fill in their brows a little bit so that they don't look like they've lost their eyebrows on stage. It doesn't need to be extremely heavy. Even with Riley, who has very, very light brown hair, um, I usually do go ahead and pencil in her eyebrows so that they still show up nicely on stage. It will seem a little overkill close up, but from the stage it looks nice. And that is our recital makeup.